Hey guys, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I am making a quick little video. That's why I'm holding the camera. I don't even have it on my tripod, but I thought I would come on and make a quick little video. I'm drinking my coffee. The kids are back in school. Actually, this is my third cup for today. Um, and yes, it is time to decorate for fall. So this is like one of the days I was looking forward to as we ended our summer vacation and they were going back to school for some quiet in the house so that I could bring out all of my fall bins. And as promised, I said that I would share it with you. So that is why the video is going to be like kind of raw, not really edited. I might put a header on the front of this, but um, Yes, so I'm going to show you all of my things. I'm standing in front of my, do you see the bins back there? I'm standing in front of my living room or in my front living room and I've brought in my things. So, um, yeah, let me turn this, I'm gonna put my coffee down. I'm gonna turn this around and just kind of show you um, what I have going on here. Okay. So here it is. This is like a lot of my Dollar Tree hauls for this year. I just did a DIY for this apple sign from the Dollar Tree. So I will, um, you'll have to go and catch the DIY for that. But that is super cute. So most of this, if you have watched my videos on YouTube, a lot of this stuff here is from my Dollar Tree hauls and it's all things that I plan to do for crafts and I'll just like kind of lift it and show you because it's all been seen in a video somewhere else but yes I stocked up on all the Dollar Tree fall things and I got a little bit of Halloween there I'm not a big Halloween person but my kids kind of got into it last year so I'm okay with like fun and cute Halloween I'm not into like the ghouls and the haunted everything but anyway so I have a few Halloween craft projects that I plan to do there and here is some of my uh, floral decor items that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree I plan to make a fall wreath this year. I want to kind of do like these light natural green colors with a little bit of the fall oranges and reds. I'm not sure though how that's going to turn out. I don't even know. Sorry, I'm moving my things. Okay, and then I have the famous Dollar Tree velvet pumpkins. I got a ton of these guys and I have already started putting a few out around my home. So I will show you how I decorate with those. Now moving on, this is my fall collection. It's taken me about two or three years to build this up. It is nothing like Christmas. I do have several bins, but if you're into the seasonal decorating like I am, then um, over time you will actually build a collection. So I'm having trouble opening this, sorry. Uh, okay, so I keep most of my fall linens and things in uh, zipped uh, comforter bags. Like when you buy the comforter, they come in like that zipper pouch bag. And that's kind of how I store them. Sorry, I know that camera was just bad right then. Okay, so um, these are my pillows that I have for fall. And I am always try to add one or two more, especially if like some kind of get dingy or out of date uh, or I just don't like the color scheme, whatever the case may be. I might DIY it into something new, I don't know. But anyway, so these are some of the pumpkin pillows or fall pillows that I have. Um, this one I've had, like this is one of my first ones I have ever purchased. I have ever purchased, I don't know if I said that right. This is one of the first ones I ever bought that um, I got when I first started getting into seasonal decorating or decorating for fall. And it stayed with me for a long time. I don't know why it has this like need to tuck down, but anyway, it does. And there's like a permanent seam there. But I love the colors in the plaid. It's traditional. It just kind of reminds me of like my collection and starting to live seasonally. Anyway, so there's that pillow. And then I have some new ones from last year. This Happy Harvest, kind of wrinkled. 
Might need to steam that out a little bit with the red truck and some regular like oranges and a throw. So I will show you guys how I actually decorate with all of these items for fall in a home tour. Now next up is this huge sign. It's a pretty big sign. I have become one of those people who change some of their wall decor in their home. Now the only place that I really change it out to right now is at my front door, my front foyer, because I feel like that's where most people who come over to visit will actually see it. We have a fairly large wall at our front door, and so I feel like that's the place that's going to get the most eyes on it, so that's the place I choose to actually change out the wall decor. And there's actually a section on my wall about this size and a little bit bigger for different frames and different pictures for every season. So I always have at least like one sign that I can change out. Eventually I might grow to more, but you got to start small, especially if you're living seasonally. So last year I added the two orange bins. I only had the one blue bin for my fall things and I added the orange bins because my collection's growing. Now they're not completely full. They're not super heavy, but anyway, let's get into them. More linens. Now some of these are just like year round linens. They aren't, like this is a silver pillow. I don't really plan on putting this out and the same goes for this. Um, I think this was actually just like kind of some of my everyday decor when I decorated last year for fall and I never put it back out. I just kind of left it like a buffalo check theme. So this bin is not really fall decor, but it does house some pillows and things down in there that I could probably use if I want to or bring in the yellow for fall. It's in this bin for that reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that one to the side. You can see here, it's like getting to be messy. Okay, next up is my orange bin and this has all the goodies and crafts from last year i have banners in here i have some halloween items in here i have a garland that i made just using a bunch of ribbons and i tied them on this cord it is super easy to do you just need to pick out three ribbons you like or four for that matter and just tie them in the pattern whatever pattern you want and it's a super cute accent to your home and you can use it year-round so this is pretty much the Halloween bin you see I have my Halloween pumpkins now I don't really decorate for Halloween like I said earlier but I will put out Halloween stuff around October 1st and we will enjoy a little bit of Halloween fun in our home for 30 days the rest of the time I like it to be fall so you can see I have some fall things in here. There is some buffalo check orange, like this is a pot holder for Halloween. And I mainly put a lot of this out for my kids. This is a Dollar Tree pumpkin. You can actually DIY these into a million other things. It's that bright neon orange, perfect Halloween color. And then I have a few pumpkins in here that are a part of my Halloween collection because they're just that black and white, and this one has a little bit of glitter in it. Anything that's like black glitter or purple glitter, I just feel like it's totally Halloween. So, I have these Halloween goodies all in this bin that I will use in this little hat, little witch hat. It's like tinsel Halloween colors. Not a fan of the Halloween. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just not, it's not my favorite Halloween, or Halloween, it's not my favorite holiday to decorate with, but I do have some of the ugly Halloween things. Look at that. I'm just not into that. That does not make me happy. What would Marie Kondo say? This does not spark joy. So, yes, these items actually go out the latest as possible, if we even put that thing out at all. Um, I just rather keep it fun and fall all the way, right? Pumpkin spice, that's my kind of jam for fall. All right, so I'm going to move this bin to the side and I'm going to come to the big blue bin. This thing is super heavy, guys. Super duper heavy. Okay, so in 
here is more my speed and like I said this is a collection of the things I have purchased over the last two it's probably been three years so if you're into seasonal decorating you can start small get a couple of pumpkins this year a garland and then you know as your collection grows you'll probably get a couple bins like me but remember we love living seasonally because it helps us to remember to live in the moment and enjoy the moment that we have so what I do is I try to pack like my soft items around some of my breakable items and what I mean by that is like I have these styrofoam pumpkins kind of nesting this mug this is a Ray Dunn mug and you can see this one says feast so to me I think of like Thanksgiving fall like where you're eating all the time this is a fall word to me so I do not display my Ray Dunn mugs that are kind of seasonal by word out year round I actually pack them in the bin of the season they go to and that's a way to kind of save some storage space in your home or like in your coffee bar is to pack away the mugs that are seasonal to a specific holiday or season um so then I have next this little runner it's a nice gray and white table runner I got this a few years ago I believe from Pier one I want to say I'm not 100% sure, but I do love the colors with it. I love the beadwork on here. It's just very beautiful. And so I lay this on a table or like a consult table in my home. And here's another one. I actually love, <coughs> excuse me, I love the detailing on this one. This one is very beautiful as well. It has like a nice shimmer to it. Not too much though, like to where it's glittery. It just kind of catches the light. And it's a gray background with the fall leaves, and I just love this. This one actually came from the Dollar General, guys. Like, it's a pretty nice runner for Dollar General. So, never don't think to pop in there and check out seasonal items from stores like that because they might surprise you. I actually went in there for something else and saw this and about died, so I had to get it. And it might be out again this year. I'm not even sure. Okay. Moving on, I have this little bucket of, oh, there's more mugs. See how they're nestled in here? More mugs that go with the seasons. And I wrap them in bags like this just to kind of help protect them. Hopefully they don't break. More of those Dollar Tree pumpkins for DIYs. A little bag of itty bitty pumpkins. I have a front bench at my foyer, front door area. And so I put a lot of these pumpkins around. It looks like somebody actually took a bite out of this one. That would probably be one of my children. Look at that. Yeah, definitely somebody bit that. Nice, way to go. Love my kids. Okay, they ate my styrofoam pumpkin. I hope they don't think it was real. I don't know. Anyway, hello fall. I have a little, let me get this mug out. I think this one says, yep, you see that? It says gather. And I have some of these felt pumpkins. Look at this. These are so nice. I don't remember where these came from, but I love them so much. The little green. This is like a like a very light, light mint green. And these are so easy to make. You just need a little batting and some fabric. Like you could totally DIY that. This I believe I got from Hobby Lobby. Oh, no, Kirkland's last year. Look how cute this is. The red truck and pumpkin. Hello, fall super cute and I have this little door hanger with a pumpkin on it and that buffalo check super adorable that looks like a Hobby Lobby find and give thanks I love these little things for oh this is from a friend actually gave me this <laughs> look at that so I love these little things for um, decorating with your tiered trays or your coffee bar because they're perfect in size and you can kind of layer them with on the shelves so that's always fun then i have this thankful sign i'm not sure where this came from either you kind of just have to look around sometimes it's like good to go to tj maxx or something like that too but this one says thankful let me turn my camera a little bit 
And I have one on a ledge at near my front door that says hello that I pretty much keep out year round. But around the fall time, I put out the word thankful and uh, put the hello one away or move it around in my home. And so I just love these wooden word letters like this. I'd love to collect like probably one for every season now that I think about it. I'm sure I could order them. But I just love that. Super cute. Some more linens in here, like kitchen towels. My pumpkin. So a lot of these I DIY and put phrases on, and I actually have a link to where you can purchase these decals from my shop, craftylifemom.com. Uh, Just click on the shop button, and you can actually buy these decals pre-cut, or um, you can actually DIY them themselves. I think I have a file for a couple of these, maybe not all of them, that you can get as well and make your own. I actually made a custom one for us and I probably need to redo it because the vinyl puckered there a little bit, but it's got our last name. And let's see, what else do I have in here? Another one of those that says gather. Look how cute, I love these so much. Sometimes I do craft shows and I have way more pumpkins, but I had a lady that <coughs> bought my entire collection last year and so I was left with like a handful of pumpkins so this one is one that I DIY it was a craft project I did last fall and you can actually see the DIY on the blog this is buffalo check wrapped fabric pumpkin and it was using one of these so super easy super cute some more little pumpkins and linens. this was also a craft project that I did I don't even know if I put this one on the blog, but I made it reversible. So one side is a pumpkin for fall, and then this goes right into the Christmas holiday. He kind of needs a hat, though. Super cute. Then this was a fall project I did last year. You can also find this DIY on the blog and the free SVG cut file. Super cute, and I put a frame back on the back so it could stand up on my coffee bar. And then if you don't have a cutting machine or can't do an SVG file, you can use one of those galvanized words from the Dollar Tree and make one. Look how cute that is. I love it. And I had this DIY, actually. Hello, Pumpkin Spice Season. I made another Pumpkin Spice SVG cut file. So I have a lot of freebies on the blog where you can make a lot of this decor for a few dollars or less. Super cute and decorate for your home seasonally. Another pumpkin, give thanks. And this is a DIY I actually did with a mom group that I'm a part of at my church. It's paint sticks, guys. Look at that. And you just basically get this printable, or any printable you want for that matter, and glue it on. Super cute. So that's pretty much my fall decor. I might add a little bit more to it for the year and see what happens. We will go from there and I will do a fall home tour and show you guys that video once I get done. See you soon.